Hey and welcome to another episode of Back From The Future. Now you may or may not have noticed, unless you've been uh, hiding under a very, very large rock, that um, the world is in lockdown. There's a virus that's spreading around the world and it's um, killing off a lot of people, unfortunately. Um, I can't even believe I'm actually saying these words. If it was last year and I could see into the future and I'd be saying these exact same words, I would have thought I was going mad. A virus, you know, that's actually uh, killing people globally. Sounds like something out of a movie, right? But wrong. It's happening now and we need to protect ourselves. Now, normally, um, I would... Uh, do what the government says and stay the hell home and not even venture out unless it was very 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 important but um unfortunately in my position i'm a key worker i need to be uh out there going to work every day and doing what i do so in order to protect myself um initially i had one of these masks that everyone else had um, now I had these lying around for years and never used it and um, then I remembered I had them so I thought I would use them but the thing is these are disposable they're really really only for um, one time use and um, then you've got to throw them away because the thing is as well when you're using these masks you got them I'll just put one on So I've got this mask on, but the problem is sometimes uh, when you're breathing in the air, you may touch the front of the mask or move it around. But as soon as you do that, if you've been um, inhaling um, the air, it might have the virus on the mask. And if you touch it, you've then contaminated yourself and then you're touching your face, touching your eyes and so forth, it's not really um, going to be very good for your health or the people around you. Now, I thought to myself, I need another solution. Plus, some of these masks are going upwards of like 5, 10, 15 pounds each. And to spend 15 pounds or 15 dollars a day on a mask like that, it's not going to be financially feasible. So I had to come up with a uh, different plan. So I was looking on the internet and I knew that I needed something like um, a PP, uh, I think it's a PP3 or, uh, or an N95 mask. And I came across something like, now the thing is, as I said, I could have got these disposable ones, but I wanted something a little bit long term. So I came across um, something by 3M, which is a 3M 6200. Now they do do a, diff, uh, a different, which is a half face mask. Now they do do a full, full face mask, but because I wear glasses, it's not going to seal properly as well. Also, um, another thing is, um, yeah. So I thought, okay, half face mask has got to be the thing to get to. Now, I got this in front, I mean, this came in from China and it took uh, ages and ages and ages to come in because I think, obviously, there's a global shortage of these respirators, aren't there? So um, it only just came in yesterday. So I opened the packet up to have a little play with it see what it's like and obviously I needed to have some kind of construct this video in a way where I'd have I could go into detail about the mask and so forth so here's the mask in itself and I think it's made from latex absolutely lovely mask and it's very well put together anything 3m make you know is quality um, and you know I'm probably make a separate video on 3m themselves I mean basically um, what more can I say? They're more or less saving the planet. Um, that uh, you know, that company alone with the masks it produces. 
So let's have a look at the mask. Um, like I said, it's made from what I think is latex and th over here is where you'd put um, the filters on, on each side. I think this is where the air goes into. Now what I've done is because if you wear one of these respirators or any kind of mask, if you have a beard, that won't pro the mask won't can't make a proper seal. So what I've done is I've had to actually, if you may or may not know, I've my beard goes from here all the way down to here, uh, which is my signature patented trademark beard. Now I've had to get rid of that, shave that off. So when I put this mask on, it forms a proper seal under there. I mean, it's not perfect. I might have to trim it back a little bit more, but um, you know, it's an ongoing thing. So let's try this mask on. The thing is, you've got to kind. You've got to kind of. Um, it's a bit fiddly putting this mask on. I'll say that. But from what I gather, you've got a little hoop that goes onto the back of your head. And you've got these two, these little neck straps that you adjust. So, um, put that on like that. So, you look kind of sinister with this on. And then you adjust the neck straps. So, let's pull that on. And then you pull these little levers and that should give you a good little seal so one way of checking how good it's sealing is to put your hand over here for example and blow out now when you blow out you can tell it'll inflate a little bit and you can see where the air potentially leaks and you can tighten it. Now that produces a good seal. Also you can do the inverse and cover these and suck the air in. That is absolutely, um, hang on. I'll tell you what, that's absolutely amazing. Whew, I'm out of it. When you're sucking air in, it literally, on my face, makes a lovely seal. There's no air leaking in through anywhere else. It's literally a solid seal. And obviously when you're uh, breathing out, you're gonna come out this front hole. So that's basically the mask in a nutshell. You've got this little sort of brace here and little necktie there. It's all very well solidly put together as well. Um, I'm very impressed with it actually. Now what else did I get with this? Are these um, charcoal filters that need to go on first. So you've got these charcoal filters and then I'll, you've got the N95 filter itself and then you've got the little cover that the you'd put on the cartridge filter but I'll go through it with you so let's let me show you how you put this on so you get this um sort of charcoal cartridge filter and you line it up with the little slots you got there you got a small one and two large ones and I believe it's like a little twist. Hang on. Here we go. Is that it? Right, so that's gonna go in and you twist it. Whoa, no, no. Here we go. Right, and then you twist it like that. And same here again. I'm not used to doing this, so just bear with me. There you go. So 
you've got your cartridge filters on now, right? Then you would put your N95 filter on. I don't know whether you can see, you've got all this writing on, and it says on there, says on there um, N95 mask side. So you'd pop that on there like that. And you put that this little plastic cover on top, right? And then you put this on top there, same way. And let's try this on now and see how it looks. I'll loosen the straps back up again, and you do that by lifting the little tab on here. There's a little tab on there. Just to loosen the straps. Now, I'm hoping this is the right way you put it on. It is, it's logical. Put that over your head. Make sure that's on properly. And there you go. Does that look menacing or what? You kind of almost look like a fighter pilot or Darth Vader or something. Now, for eye protection, I mean, I'll wear glasses. But if you don't wear glasses, You can try some eye protection. Hang on. Got the plastic. You can see that. Now there's a variety of different uh, goggles you can wear. This one is something I had lying around and never used. And yeah, that should theoretically give you a degree of decent eye protection if you're not wearing glasses. Obviously, if you wear glasses, you're going to have to wear a pair of goggles. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this out for a few days and then I'll get back to you and uh, let you know what I think. Oh, I just remembered something. So before you go... As well as wearing the glasses and uh, the face mask, you can also wear this visor that I was wearing in the other video. So you can keep that on you, and that just offers, on top of the protection you've got on there, an extra level of protection. And theoretically, you this will offer a very, very good level of protection when you're out on on the streets and uh, using public transport, buses and trains and so forth. So, as I said, uh, let me go try this all out and I'll get back to you and let you know what I think. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please join me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, like, subscribe, leave comments and I'll see you in the future, if there is one.